What's up everybody and welcome to the video here on CR95 Games. Today I'm bringing you some more builds for another awesome Warframe. This time we're taking a look at Hydroid Prime, a great defense CC frame and a great resource farming frame. And he just looks amazing anyway, he just looks awesome. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the builds. So the first build we're looking at is the defense one. What makes Hydroid such a good crowd control and defense frame is one, his tidal surge ability, which or tentacle swarm ability, which allows him to pull up a crap ton of tentacles to control an area and capture all the enemies there and throw them around like ragdolls until it kills them or either you shoot them and kill them or it runs out of duration, which it has a pretty long duration anyway. And then another reason is for his Undertow move ability, which allows him with the Curative Undertow Augment to heal defenses and excavators and such things like that, which is awesome. So what we have on this build is Corrosive Projection, Enemy Armor Reduced, Prime Continuity for Ability Duration, Prime Flow for Energy Max, Vitality for Health, Redirection for Shield Capacity, Stretch for Ability Range, Blind Rage for Ability Strength and Ability Efficiency, Rank 6. Streamline for 30% Ability Efficiency, and then the Curative Undertow Augment. Allies can enter the pool to regain 30% health every 1.5 seconds with each ally in the pool increasing energy drain on Hydroid. So that does mean that if you have three of your teammates standing on your pool rather than one, it's going to cost you more energy drain. So the more people on it, the more energy it's going to cost you. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what this build can do. So the first ability we're looking at is your Tentacle Swarm, which has a 7.25 range meters. But the way that this is going to work with Hydroid's last rework is that the longer you hold your ability to a certain point, is how far the range is going to go. So if you hold your ability longer before you release it, then the range is going to be bigger. So stretch mods do not affect this ability. Stretch is on to affect the range of undertow, but not tentacle swarm. So hold it down if you want it to go to max range whenever that bar goes all the way around, let it go, as you can see level 50 elite ha uh, lancers, sorry, <coughs> and all the ones it grabbed are down, so you can shoot them when they're in the, in the tentacles and cause more damage or kill them, but that isn't always going to be necessary. These are level 50s and they went down pretty quickly without much trouble. See how much shorter the range is on that one when I just, I just, uh, I did it real fast. I didn't charge it. So it does decent damage and the crowd control for this move is awesome. It, enemies won't get through too often into your defense and if they do in between waves you can just go into your undertow and heal it and get back what you lost. Or if you're missing a lot you can save one enemy and not kill it that way that you have all the time in the world to heal it all that you need to. Anyway, I'll show some footage after um, after I get done showing you the builds, and I'll show you his healing effect on a defense, a cryopod. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the next build. Next, we're looking at the build that most of you are probably here for, actually. The Pilfering Sword build. The farming build for resources. So, this is the build that's going to get you... All those extra resources you need, all those orca cells, the polyro bundle, whatever you're farming, this is what's going to help you get it. The Pilfering Swarm Augment. 
for the tentacle swarm ability, enemies held by tentacles have a 100% chance of additional drops, which is awesome, and it's just, it's great, anyway, so, the enemies that are held by the tentacles, they do not have, the tentacles do not have to kill them to get them to have that additional drop chance. They can, and it'll have that additional drop chance. What I'm saying is that is not what has to happen. So you can shoot them when they're in the tentacles and kill them, or use abilities on them, whatever the case. As long as they're killed in the tentacles, they're going to have that drop chance. Now that we're past that, we have Corrosive Projection on, Prime Continuity on for ability duration, Constitution for more ability duration and faster knockdown recovery, Vitality for health, Redirection for shield capacity, Prime Flow for energy max, Preferring Swarm Augment for the farming, Streamline for ability efficiency, and a maxed out Blind Rage for 99% ability strength. So, there isn't really much I can show that this one can do because what this one's meant for is to make more resources drop, and resources aren't dropping here in the Simulacrum. So, you'll have to go and see this one on your own, but I promise you, it's going to help you get those drops you need. I highly recommend that if you're going farming on a survival or something, a survival in particular, bring a Speedva, and two Pilfering Hydroids, and a Necros Prime, a Despoil, or Desecrate Necros. It's really the best team you can go to get maximize your resources in the shortest period of time. Because if you're in survival, Speedva is going to make you get more enemies faster than you would have if you were in defense, or if you, <coughs> or if you didn't have Speedva. So let's go look at our abilities. For our tentacle swarm, we have a range meters of five. Remember, you're going to hold your ability to increase that to a lot, lot more. Anyway, next we have the number of tentacles, which is 10, which you can't change. Damage, 398, and a duration of 36.6 seconds, which is really good, because so, if you're farming and, say, you're grouped up in one room and the only way out is one door that's in front of you, you can cover that entire door with tentacles, and it's going to last you over half a minute until you have to do it again. But anyway, there isn't a lot I can show to what this build is going to do, or because the only difference between that one and the other one mainly is that we're making resources drop more with this one and resources aren't dropping here in the simulacrum so I can't show you that but no you're gonna get a lot more resources with this one I recommend you go in with if you're gonna farm go in with two pilfering hydroids one necros with despoil and one speed nova if you're on a survival so that you can get those enemies faster in a shorter period of time than you would have without Speed Nova. Anyway, I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you have your Hydroid build so now that you can go out there and go farm all the resources you need. I hope you enjoy the footage. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and have a great day.
the Tenno. 